this year's Maybach when I made it over his layup during the basketball game. When we went to the field trip to see the Christmas trees in Providence. When I got accepted into Tabor Academy. Mostly coming here to the school. Probably when I whipped the ball across the court and it went in. Probably when Ernie whipped the best ball at me and it got in between my legs and I fell in the gym and it was funny. Sixth grade starting sailing. When I first played uh, basketball for the first time. In robotics two years ago when the robot we had exploded in the gym. Probably when Miss Bucky spilled coffee all over the gym floor. She was really frustrated. <laughs> would have to be when I found out I got accepted into the school. Coming to Nativity and taking the test and hoping I don't get in. Marrying Miss McMillan. Graduating is going to be pretty good in the sense that it's going to be pretty fun. I had trouble adjusting to wearing these uncomfortable ties and putting down shirts every day. Uh, mostly the homework. There was a lot of homework, yeah. I mean, you have four long years of hard work and sacrifice and people making fun of you because you're wearing a shirt and tie and staying up late and watching your sister do absolutely zero homework while you have two hours. Miss Batista's death. Um, reading harder books and passing tests. We have had many hard tests and they were very difficult and I tried my best. The public and public schools do not really see nativity as the cool place to be. Um, one of the biggest challenges I've had to face throughout my nativity career would have to be Latin class. And the beginning of my nativity career was definitely challenging. I did not want to be here at all. Well, yes, uh, when I started in fifth grade, uh, my body structure was actually crushed by the weight of all the books. Just getting my work done. I challenged, I was challenged by all the homework we had, and I went to bed extremely late every night. Some things were Miss Patisa's passing and trying to maintain good grades. Well, the teachers kind of make it easy for students to adjust there, so there wasn't a lot of challenges when I started out. Um, challenges that I've faced academically or anything else. Yeah, um, stay in school. Try to do all your homework. Um, don't get jug. And try your hardest not to get level five at all costs. Stick it out. Um, mostly, I think the fifth and the seventh grade would have to be the toughest for me. Fifth, because you have to make the adjustment, and seventh grade is like, oh, I like girls, and girls aren't here, so. Try not to leave any answers blank in the test. Um, do your homework, and do well on the test, and don't worry about your grades, because they will eventually go up. Just try your hardest and do your work. Cool. Don't give up. Try hard. Take pride in your work. Uh, well, try your best. Be nice and uh, work hard. Basically, get your work done. That's the easiest thing you can do at activity, and also the easiest way to stay out of junk and trouble. Obviously, to try your hardest and try new things, even if it doesn't seem that it's all possible to achieve. Try your hardest and you'll graduate like me. To keep trying your best and don't ever do anything with half the effort. I would just say be nice, um, friendly teachers and stuff, and then do your wild things outside of school where teachers aren't and can't get caught. So yeah, just try to be the best you can at nativity, and then once you're out of nativity, it's all up to you. Um, try to impress yourself at what you do and not other people. Don't quit, um, because it's going to be difficult, like, within as time progresses. Um, but you just got to stay with it. Some things have to go in one, one year, out the other. Um, and no matter what people say about the school, it's, it's the best. So. Sports issues such as steroids and how they cheat, such as AWOD, 
world hunger. Animals, animal rights are completely blind. They don't have to be animal rights. Animals deserve to live, have a nice life. Rainforest devastation, which is leading to global warming. Global warming. Global warming. And the earth. I want to say that global warming would be oh, the issue that I care about the most. How everyday, everyday things that we do from taking the stairs or um, having an environment friendly car, an environmentally friendly car, or different things like that can help the environment so that the earth won't one day die. We're saving the whales. The lack of llamas. The llamas. More immigration uh, rights, um, such as um, they should, I think that more things need to take place in order for that they get an education, um, that they can contribute uh, more to this world than just being looked at as aliens. The future of New Bedford. How fortunate that we are in America. Try your hardest at everything you do. Prioritizing your um, duties is very important because uh, procrastination isn't the way to go. Basically, take pride in your work, don't give up, and do things all the way and not halfway. Have to properly respect an elder. <clears throat> also, I have learned about the Treaty of Paris. But I forgot again. Okay. Try your hardest and you'll get there. Oh no. I learned to keep trying my best and always give 100% effort. I've learned how to be a gentleman. I definitely learned um, how to respect my um, elders. How to be responsible. <laughs> I learned how to be responsible and how to be a gentleman at times. <laughs> well, being a nativity man, which covers the basic determination, respect for others, kindness, Perseverance. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, good night.